Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at 2014's Godzilla. This is going to be our first trip into the MonsterVerse. I've never seen this one before, but it does star Brian Cranston, Elizabeth Olsen, and Aaron Taylor Johnson, who we all loved in Bullet Train. So yep, yes. typically not a big Godzilla fan, but you guys wanted to see it, so I'm ready to give it a shot. I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to give this a chance. Uh, we'll see if, if it delivers. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I've seen Godzilla 98 with Matthew Broderick liked it but i was also i was i was also 13 <laughs> so we'll see how a 38 year old answer appreciates this one i vaguely vaguely recall seeing the one with matthew broderick i was mm -hmm. 18 at the time uh I, I don't recall enjoying it <laughs> you know it's not like usually even if you see a movie when you're like that age even if you kind of don't remember seeing it you remember it if you yeah, really like lucky it. for you this i don't different. remember it that much like plot wise it's like eh. I don't know how you can you know, make a Godzilla movie like that cool, but you know what? I'm going to go in this with an open mm -hmm. mind. So mind has now been opened. So without further ado, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool what they're doing here. Yeah. Bikini. I think this is really cool how they're doing like the news um real intro just to like without having to dive too much into dialogue or a lot of scenes. Yeah, they you can just, can just you. get a background like, hey, this is something that's been on people's radar yep. for a long time. There he is. Oh, they're gonna try to hit it with a with a nuke? Looks like. Oh, look at what's on there. Yeah. Oh, we've seen that footage before, eh? What happened to the boats that were right next to it? Did Probably they, nothing I, good. I don't think they thought it through. I was gonna say those look like military ships. Yeah, yeah just go. I think the, well, that was a test, I'm pretty sure. The for the footage anyway. This was only a test. Oh, what are we mining here? Oh. Dr. Sarazawa? Jerry, boy! Monarch sent me in this morning. Quick look around, I told them we needed you. They picked up a radiation pocket out here last month. They got excited thinking they had a uranium deposit. The floor collapsed into a cavern below. Best guess right Holy now is about 40 miners went down that. with it. 40 guys were lost? It's a massive, almost like a sinkhole. I suppose you definitely... Definitely got to wear suits like that. Digging holes for 30 years. I've never seen anything like it. Those feel like uh, uh, that a looks like a giant rib cage. cage. Yeah. Is it possible? Is it him? No. That is a big skeleton. <laughs> it's like when they always show like the Megalodon and stuff like that where they're all standing in the yeah. mouth. Ooh, <laughs> radiation's going off. Uh, yeah. Uh, that thing doesn't look like a skeleton to me. Some kind of egg? A dormant spore? Formation seems to be perfectly preserved. Um, uh, get out of there. This one looks broken. Uh -oh. Like something came out of it. Oh, no. S something definitely got out. That's the trail of where it was going. Oh. <laughs> This is actually a pretty interesting start to the movie. No, Takashi, just listen to me for a second. Sounds like our I'm boy. I'm asking for the meeting because if I have to shut the <laughs> reactor down, you're not going to want to read about it in a memo. It's a week. Well, someone you've got. Oh, I know. I need a meeting. Make it happen. You made your sign, your birthday sign. You worked so hard. God. I'll take the car and pick him up and we can get a proper cake, okay? I need to know that it's not the sensors. Happy birthday. What is yes. it? Yes, it is. Oh, I forgot all about it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He said he made him a sign, though. Huh? She was literally just talking about yeah. it. Yeah, about this. I'm confused. Well, here. she goes, he made you a sign, and he must still not remember. I think this was Brian Cranston's first role after uh, Breaking Bad. Help me out, guys, in the comments on that one. 
Let's make this quick. Have you seen this? Yeah. Maybe not such a good time for a mutant. Where's the epicenter? We don't know. Perhaps we should be drawing down to be safe. <laughs> yeah. Should have thought about that a little bit ago. That might be a good idea. Sandra. Yeah. We're turning back. Let's go. I don't know Hello, what's happening, there? but I know that's Shut not up, good. This is not good. Yeah, this is real bad. I cannot do that. Keep the doors open. My wife is still in there. Gosh, you tell me this door's on manual. Manual, yes. I'm right here. As soon as they're through, I'll seal it. Oh, is he gonna have to close it before she gets there? Oh no. Nani, move it to the corridor. The whole city will be exposed. I'm there. Sandra, Sandra, I'm here. Can you hear me? Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't you say that. Run as hard as you can, honey. You have to close the door. You have to live. Before it's done. Seal the door. Now. Oh, my God. Box pick. Uh, hit the button. Hit it. Oh, no. Oh, she's going to be right there. Somebody will be. Oh. oh man. <laughs> Ooh, what an opener. Oh, and he knows where his parents were. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that his parents worked there. Just a okay. 15 year time, time jump? jump? So I'm guessing young Ford is yep. right there. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Aaron. Oh, he looks so much different, doesn't he? You got uh, family waiting for train. you. Take it slow. It's the one thing they don't train you for. Welcome home, Daddy. Daddy's home. Cake every night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, hey, and then there's Elizabeth. Don't hit the rack. I still will be here tomorrow. Yeah. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Yeah, this is uh, this is Mrs. Brody. Tom, you're busy. Yes, sir. Could you just hold on one moment? Joe's been arrested in Japan. Oh, this kid just asked, "Are you gonna be here tomorrow?" Yeah, yeah. now he's gotta go. Your father is a good man. He just he needs your help, right? He's lost everything. Yeah, so did I. But you know what? I got over it. Every time I let him in close, he always tries to drag me back, and I can't. You know, you're only gonna be gone for a few days, right? It's not the end of the world. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> did she not see the title screen? Um, <laughs> look at that. He's been looking. They don't get many visitors. <laughs> Clearly. All right. I thought you were over this echolocation. Parasitic it, communication. No, please don't, if you don't mind. I'm just trying to get back to our old house. She's in a quarantine. Precisely. Your mom's out there, Ford. To me, she'll always be there. I don't even have a picture of her. This has to stop. Let me take you home. Got a little boy who's desperate to see his grandpa. Arigato. Fensuga, shizunduru bashuka. I'm heading back out there, Ford. <laughs> One hour in. I don't think so. I have to go. I met a guy. Runs a cargo boat offshore. He goes right past the reactor site. So two weeks ago, I'm tuning in, and oh my god, there it is. Whatever it is, that's in there. Started talking again. I'm gonna find the truth and end this. Whatever it takes. Boys are both. They're both kind of going to the extremes. The son's trying to totally forget it, and well, dad is just totally obsessed. Can't help but you know, yeah. thinking about it nonstop. Mm -hmm. Quarantine zone. God, there was, food, some, there was an article in the news recently about the dogs at Chernobyl evolving <laughs> yeah. some way or something. Hey, what are you doing? Dad? It's clean. The radiation in this place should be lethal, but there's nothing. Oh, thank God. Is he going to have a 
picture, yep. Oh, there it is that he made for him. It's still up. He made for him all those years ago. Uh oh. And they just patrolling. It looks like. Are they rebuilding the plant? I haven't seen. Oh, hey. Oh, they're driving him oh, there. right to the plant. Uh, I suppose they probably saw who it was. And wait, yes, what? The hell's that? Seven point two seconds and getting stronger. Jesus, it's worse than we thought. Two men were just arrested in the Q zone. One of them says he used to work here, Doctor. I'm tired of talking to you about this. I want my son. Keep telling everybody that this place is a death zone, but it's not. My wife died here. I deserve answers. All these items, they're found on him. I thought all the data from that day was lost. They're getting stronger. It's affecting the power grid. Any radiation leakage? Gamma levels are still zero. <laughs> so that thing's absorbing all the radiation? Jesus, the same pattern. 15 years ago, it's what caused the meltdown. We have to shut down. Secure the grid. Oh, this what is not sad. good. <laughs> good secure. Kill it. What the oh, hell? Blasting oh, it with electricity? All readings are flatlined. For now. Get a visual. Oh, they just pissed it off. <laughs> it's always, it's always got to be the guy who has yeah. to get the visual. Yeah. Get a visual. Me? Me? I got to be the guy? Yeah, there's something moving there. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's like a... Big cockerel. Well, that's not Godzilla. Wait, is it? Is that? I think we're gonna Mothra, and what Mothra we saw before maybe? was a big cocoon. Or like, must have been. Or if it's not Mothra, it's some giant uh, insect type thing. That's not good. No. It's really not good. Uh uh. Hard pass, boys. <laughs> It's trying to get out. Hey, let me out! Hey! What's the play here, fellas? <laughs> yeah. I don't Not, think there's contingency plans no, for stuff like this. I don't think they have anything to deal with that. Oh! What? There's no way we lost Brian Cranston. Absolutely unlike anything that I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. Earthquake. Okay, could could I at least if you could let me leave you myself? Hello? Damn it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, what these guys were trying to do. Captain Russell Hampton, glad to find you, sir. I'm here to inform you that we are now taking over operational authority from Monarch. So I'm going to need you to come with me. Is there any other personnel you need? I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to be right next to you. Then. <laughs> Guess what, buddy? Uh, we'll, we'll patch you up here. You're not going to a hospital anytime soon. Yeah. You know, I've watched a lot of uh, Ancient Aliens. You've heard me talk about this on the channel, but <laughs> never seen any episodes on ancient massive butterflies or lizards. Moths. <laughs> not ruling it out, though. Lizards? It's okay. Go home to your family. <laughs> Keep them safe. You stay with me. Dad? No way. Come on. We're losing him. Joe, can you hear me? 40 units of vasopressin. 
Stay with us. Oh, they keep teasing us with that. They're bringing them onto an aircraft carrier. Muto, massive unidentified terrestrial organism. Now, the world still thinks this was an earthquake, and it would be preferable that that remain so. Until it lands on a school in the U.S. Captain, I want any and all search options on this table ASAP. Yes. Dr. Sarazawa? Admiral William Stens. Mr. Mr. Admiral. Glad to have you on board. Excuse me. So they have no radar, uh, but they have satellite television. They just said Brody's done. What? <laughs> We lost Cranston? Well, Dr. Serizawa. My condolences. We are deeply sorry for your loss, Lieutenant. In 1954, the first time a nuclear submarine ever reached the lower depths, it awakened something. An ancient alpha predator. But as the levels on the surface naturally subsided, these creatures adapted to live deeper in the oceans, further underground, absorbing radiation from the planet's core. Oh, okay. That's a pretty cool description. We call him Gojira. Well, well, it sounded like Godzilla, but it's Gojira. We found the fossil of another giant animal in the Philippines, killed by these. Parasitic spores, catalyzed when a mining company unknowingly drilled into its tomb. Until it hatched like a butterfly into the creature you saw today. Why didn't you just kill it when you had the chance? It was absorbing radiation from the reactors. We worried killing it might release that radiation. Yeah, they were drawing the radiation from it. What else did he say? It's something about an animal call. Something talking. Talking? If the Muto was talking that day, your father must have discovered something talking back. Where's it headed? It will be looking for food. Sources of radiation. Nature has an order, a power to restore balance. I believe he is the power. Have a little monster throwdown. You're catching a commercial flight back to San Francisco. Hey, this is Al. You missed me. Please leave a message. It was an accident in Japan. I'm headed to Hawaii. I'm gonna catch a flight from there. Oh, yeah, a floppy disk reader mm -hmm. hooked up to the computer. <laughs> well. Hey, hey, look, don't worry. Just wait there. I'm gonna bring him back, okay? Is this what you want? Take good care of him for me. We lost track of a nuclear cooler 50 nautical miles northwest of Hawaii. Could be the Muto. Oh, it's feasting on subs. Northwest of Diamond Head on the island of Oahu. They're on the ground and headed to the beacon. <laughs> the, the Budweiser guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Is it molting or that, something? No, that's the propeller. Oh, that's a propeller. Okay, that's a good call answer. I'm like, what the? Heck? <laughs> I am uh, oh, first, yeah. and then out. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Guardian three, we located your rusted stuff. You're not gonna believe what else we found. Rising approximately 20 to 30 meters above the tree line. Cats out of the bag, Doctor. No more secrets. We're picking up something else. We're approaching from the Pacific. Uh oh. Is, is our boy it, coming? Finally? Are we finally going to see him? Where are you going? Could up to the be? flight deck. I have to see this. <laughs> wow. Wow. You don't want to miss it. No. Highway to the dangers. Is he going to hop into one of those planes? Like, quick, get in there. in the air. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, what are they going to do with that? <laughs> really? They didn't even give him a bazooka or something? Two, Charlie Six, we are circling the target. Go on your command. Oh, it can do like an EMP. Yep. Oh, that's exactly what it did. I say it can. I will. Oh, oh no. he's going to have a little guy to take care of here. You give it 10 seconds, light's going to come back on. Uh, 
Oh, I don't like the way the that water. shot is <laughs> set up. Out of the water, just. Oh my god. All the Run. water's going Run. out into the ocean. Bravo, target spotted offshore. Oh, that wouldn't happen in Wisconsin. Nobody would be leaving their drinks at the bar. <laughs> is he going to see it? Oh, it's just the spikes. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're doing one of those to us? Yeah. Oh. Hey, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. I forgot about what you guys did to me a, a few decades ago. I got this. Oh, uh, well, maybe not those ships. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dog seems like he's going to get away, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not looking good here. Oh, this is not good. Oh, man. That'll ruin your vacation to Hawaii in a hurry. There he is. Oh, holy sh... <laughs> Oh, why do they That's, do that? We got like those are nines. We got like that, four guys. A nine right there. Four guys on a roof of nine millimeters. Those aren't even two, two, threes. That was nine. <laughs> there you go. What did I tell you? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. That's not good. There's our guy. Well, that's not our guy. Not our guy. That's that's the wrong that's guy. It's wrong guy. <laughs> it's our guy. That sounds a little heavier. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's an automatic door. Roger, targeted site. Four yeah, Oh, oh wow. Uh, that's not good. Oh, really? It was this a little domino effect? Yeah, it's going to hit them all. Jesus, that's <laughs> huge. Yeah. There he is. There he is. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that thing is pissed. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad for 2014, huh? That's pretty. They made that thing look pretty badass. Yeah. yeah you couldn't really see on the poster. Uh, uh, see what's going on, Mom? Let's go, it's bedtime. <laughs> Sammy. So they didn't even show the fight except for the little glimpses on yeah, TV? Yeah, I think they're going to tease us the whole oh, time. Oh, you sons of bitches. I don't think they're going to show us much of... Uh, oh, that's going to downgrade my score. <laughs> okay. Old freakzilla. The boy's been separated from his parents. Just fill out this form. We'll be with you in just a minute. Set you down for one minute. Look at that. Oh, they doesn't even get to acknowledge him. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> acknowledge me. I mean, come on. Everything not tied down is moving east. Oh, is that where they're heading? Yeah. Satellite transfer complete. Simulations uploaded. All our models have the targets converging on the Pacific coast. The signal shows a call. Why call up a predator? No, it didn't. The Muto was calling something else. Another oh, one? Oh boy, we got, got more problems. This spore, where is it now, Doctor? Where we put all your nuclear waste. In the middle of a desert? Yeah. yeah EO, EO Tech 512, <laughs> hard to go wrong with one of those. <laughs> Even against Godzilla? Godzilla? 518. Yeah. Hard to tell by that Putting shot. Putting it in the, the old oh. radioactive mountain. Well, I... Guys, the thing is like 50 feet tall. Look, I just ripped apart the side of the mountain. Didn't uh, see that from the air, I guess. Did we really need our binoculars? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get a, see we're gonna it get a little bit of zonk from me on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna little. give you a zonk. <laughs> I think you would have looked up and, and seen it. But I got scarred. 
this one doesn't have any wings. A different sex? A female. It must be a mating call. Current tracking models indicate that all three targets are converging here. But if we rig a nuclear warhead with a shielded timer, put it on a boat and send it 20 miles out, the radiation lures the Mutos, and the Mutos lure Godzilla. And we detonate with minimal fallout risk to the city. Doctor, if you have any other ideas, I am all ears. Gojira may be the answer. He's here to restore balance. I'm sorry, Doctor. I can't take that risk. But my first priority is to safeguard our citizens. It's uh, stopped. Yes. August 6, 1945. Hiroshima. Hiroshima. It was my father's. Hiroshima, of course, for the younger people watching or people not familiar with your U.S. history, was the first nuclear bomb that dropped um, that basically signaled the end of World War II. Anyone not part of this mission, disembark Holy now! This is a high-risk mission. That train out there is a national asset, not Amtrak. I'm guessing the digital module's been bypassed and you're prepping for full analog retrofit. Look, this is what I do. This is my job. My family's in the city. Okay, I need to get on that train. Sam, your mom's gonna be right back. Elle. It's your husband. Hello? Elle? Oh, Sam. You know, I've been trying to, I've been calling you everywhere. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm gonna be at the house with my sunrise. Can you please just hurry? Oh, well. I'll see you soon. Oh, pay phone. Mm -hmm. The old school. Quarter in. Go! Move up! Please find shelter, stay indoors, and stay off the roads. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh. You know, if a guy had a side-by-side. -side. Yep, or a motorbike. Well, a motorbike would be even better. All right, people, let's go. Please don't do this. I understand your concerns, Doctor. But I am sacrificing lives every minute just trying to steer one of these things clear of population centers, and now there are two more of them on the way. We tried that before. We're talking dialable yield. Megatons, not kilotons. Makes the bomb we tried to kill it with in 54 look like a firecracker. Look at the so, fallout on that thing. Yeah. Look, uh, you guys aren't going to be good on the ship. Yeah. What? Shit. Hey, guys, this is Bravo 2 November. Is the bridge clear? Over. Hey, guys, I need to see. I highly doubt that it is, guys. Everything is intact? Only one way to find out. You check below. Sergeant Morales, you come with me. Look at him, already a man in, in charge. That's right. Well, he is a lieutenant. All the bats, their sonar. Oh, yeah. Nope. Uh -uh. Not <laughs> pass. Pass. <laughs> nope. Do not want to be up there. Those gaps are pretty wide. Shit. <laughs> Don't show it. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, it's dragging it. Oh, it's the water below. Yeah, because it's going upstream. Bulldog, this is Eagle. All clear to move out. Over. Say again. Unreadable. Say again. Over. Uh-oh. What's up, man? Stop. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at all those eggs. Oh, man, that's a lot of them. So does it still need the mail, though, it, it, to it be must. able to, yeah. to, you know, fertilize it, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's the train. Oh. Train! Caught a hell of a break there. Yeah. That full of a wall. Oh, that long of a fall in waters. Well, there goes your. Yeah, so much for the warhead. There goes your plan of the warheads. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna have them for lunch. He's going under. Boats, sound occlusion alarm. Frame 180. Changing course and moving fast. I've got him at 33 knots and picking up speed. Yeah, that wolf <laughs> doesn't want to have anything to do with any of that. Oh, oh. look at this mess. Are they fishing for a warhead? Yes, trying to recover it, yeah. 
Where are you taking them? Across the bridges. Critical and children only. I can take Sam. No, no, no. Ford's on his way. You change your mind. The bus is leaving in 10 minutes. And where are you, Ford? Uh, nowhere close to you. Yeah. Uh, in 10 minutes. That's, that's for minutes. sure. Yeah. Oh, let's, well, we're bringing the bait right over the top of you guys. Yeah, well, maybe yeah, he's in the helicopter. I hey, guess he is. Where are they taking it? Convergence point. We're going to lure them there. Hey. Sammy, you remember Laura? She's mommy's work friend, right? She's going to look after you just for a little bit. Daddy's going to be here soon. Hey. Okay. Ah, it's not the move I'm making, I don't think. Got it. Just sit down here. Sit, sit. Do you lose consciousness? I'm okay. Really? Fine. We're showing seismic activity to the east near Livermore. Should be the female closing in. There's still buses on that bridge. I can't hear you. Oh, kids, please be quiet. There we go. Somebody's got a bazooka now. Few people do. It's the weapon of choice against uh, monsters. <laughs> oh, uh, that one get you? It did, didn't it? <laughs> He's ashamed to admit it. <laughs> Port side, 200 meters. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. There you go. He ain't taking no chances. Bus driver with the save. Striker, there's civilians on the bridge. Close your fire. Godzilla Where? inadvertently <laughs> saved the day. He's like, hey guys, stop! <laughs> Ooh, he just ate that tank around right to the belly. Prepare to arm the device! Arming keys! Three, two, one! Oh, EMP. Engine stop! We lost power! Oh. Oh. I was going to say, they didn't have her husband like oh, yeah, coming, in coming out into the shoot. city. <laughs> I was like, I mean, wait that, a minute. Uh, hey, that would have been pretty badass, <laughs> but yes, I agree. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, he wants the sub. He wants the treat. Oh. Is, is the battle coming? You know, any other movie, this would be like adorable. <laughs> no, I don't know about adorable, no. but uh, well, you know that it's oh, trying to get them babies to grow. Yeah. Sam Brody was checked into the Oakland Coliseum shelter an hour ago. He is safe. I'm sorry, but they are trying to get everyone downtown into subway shelters. Are you Brody? Yes. Okay, listen up. An analog timer has been installed, and the Mudos are frying electronics within a five-mile bubble. That's why we'll be conducting a halo insertion. Jumping altitude would be 30,000 feet. Just skate to the top and drop. Here and here. When you find the warhead, how long to disarm it? 60 seconds if I can access it. I retrofitted that device myself. Lieutenant Brody is the only EOD tech to survive the train attack. If that doesn't work, then what's plan B? Get the bomb to the pier, onto a boat, as far away from the city as possible before it detonates. Sounds like a one-way ticket on that boat. Do you really think he has a chance? He the has arrogant to. man is thinking nature is in our control. Let them fight. <laughs> Let them fight. <laughs> Let them fight. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, that, uh, that takes some stones right there. Jesus. 
I don't think normal skydiving is from 30,000 no. feet. <laughs> no. Maybe 3,000? That's the masks and stuff. I think 10 is for regular skydiving. Yeah. Maybe that's even. I don't know. I don't have any life. interest in it, so I wouldn't know. I'm not a skydiving <laughs> person. If it wouldn't have been like this the day that I wanted to go, I would have went. That's a pretty cool shot. <laughs> Two of our team members didn't make it. I heard bits and pieces of the radio. One click up the hill. All right, we found the warhead. Let's go. Uh, you guys are in a bad spot. Well, I think uh, I think he well, uh, maybe he's a little smarter than you think. He he's like, hey guys, I'll take. I'll yeah, that's what it seems like. Get him out of here, Sarge. Get a look at this. I bet it's they got there. the nuke down there too with the eggs. See the they eggs. don't. They don't have Brody down there to. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Uh, just like what we saw yep. in the beginning. Oh, oh that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you oh, go. Eggs. Oh Mike's my god. Up. Here we go. How much time we got left? We have 27 mics. Oh, oh, stepping on them. That's going to be lights out. <clears throat> oh. oh, the old cheap shot. Oh, it dug right in. Yeah, ooh, on a jaw. That just chomp that wing right off. Oof. Oof. Let's get this cover off. Okay, Lieutenant, you're up. Not watching. Sealed shut. We need time to get this open. We don't have time. Let's haul it out of here. We gotta get it on a boat. <laughs> Lieutenant? Oh, he's oh, going to burn them. Smart. I wonder what the reaction from the female. Yeah, it'll maybe draw their attention. Whoa. Ooh. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's what you get. Oh, what is that? Godzilla's tail light up? What is he, like, toothless? He's, he's lighting up. Light him up. It's a fire. Yeah, are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Oh, yeah! Oh, finally! Yeah! Finally! Oh, 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 that's so oh. badass. Oh. Come on, come on, hurry. Oh, yeah. Senses it. She's coming. Oh, the tail whip. <laughs> oh, that's it. I think that's Dunzo. Yeah. He's got stuff sticking in his neck there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> Oh. oh, he's going to set it on auto and just have it go. Yeah. If you can get it, you can get it. You got it. If not. Oh, did another EMP. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got him. Oh! oh! Right down his head. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he... <laughs> oh, he just what? ripped that thing apart. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're still on a boat with. Work uh, on that bomb. Come on, man. You gotta get on that thing. No, you gotta leave him on. He's the only one who can get that thing on. Unhooked. Unless they're just gonna. I 
thought I had to go so far out, though. Or sink the boat? Oh. Oh, no, let's just let that sucker go. Oh, there he is. It looks a little rough. Are you really done? I thought he would just go back under the ocean again. I knew it. <laughs> what? <laughs> give him room. Everyone, give him room. Yeah. Give, give him room to breathe. Sam. <laughs> Never had save, a save the day. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> King of monsters. He just starts. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the old. <laughs> Can we talk about the possibility that he steps on some people on the way out? I think they're giving him his space. Clear, clear the way. I just want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Oh, <laughs> that is just like that. Oh, I mean, there wow. was 2014's Godzilla. Our first entrant into the monster verse. And, you know, we had a great lineup. We had Brian Cranston, Elizabeth Olsen. We had uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, who, you know, I thought all did really well. We even had our guy, uh, Ken. I'm. Oh, do I try to pronounce his last name? Uh, Watanabe? Yes, thank you, Answer. We had him. He was a nice surprise to have show up. We, we loved him in The Last Samurai, obviously. And, uh, you know, this movie had, like, all the kind of like the moments that you expect to have in a disaster, monster, end of the world type movie. Like, they had all those moments. He mm -hmm. had to, you know, Brian Cranston, Cranston's character was driven to try to find out what really happened. He lost his wife early in the in the film. And then we had, of course, uh, Ford trying to get back to his wife and family and, and everything that kind of ensues. He, he has a mission to accomplish, but yet he wants to get home to his family. You know, so they, they had all the moments that you typically expect in these movies. But um, I, this one just didn't really grab me the way I was kind of expecting it to. I, I thought this one would be a little bit more fun uh, with all the fellas and stuff. There was a little bit of comedy in there. Like uh, you pointed out, Oak, they're looking through the binoculars trying to find the big ass monster yeah. that they lost um obviously the uh the couple of guys on top of the buildings in hawaii with very small arms trying to take uh small arms weaponry uh mm -hmm. trying to take out mothra so i mean but i wonder if part of that was homage to some of the earlier godzilla movies and you'll have to forgive me because i haven't seen those so if a lot of the scenes in here were kind of uh, callbacks to that. Feel free to drop those in the comments, guys. I'd love to read about it. They had some really cool camera angles, the way they the way they hid a lot of the monsters and things like that, and that was kind of fun. Until, of course, we got the big finish at the end that, I mean, it's so... It's been everywhere in pop culture. I think we've all seen the images of the guys in the suits fighting in the cities, you know, in yeah. the, in the oh, old, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the old mean, movies. So it was good to see a bit of a throwback to that. And then when Godzilla had the, the big fire breath or whatever it is at the end, the nuclear breath, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that was pretty cool. So, I mean, it, it had its moments and it's like everything was there, but uh, it just didn't really seem to click for me kind of the way that I was... Uh, the way I was hoping that it would, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to totally bury it because it did have its moments. Like I say, but you know, out of five on a five answer scale, uh, Godzilla here is a, uh, is a 2.5 out of five answers right for on, me, right on you know, right, right. 50%, which I think I'm pretty close to what, uh, rotten tomatoes might've had, uh, uh from what the, I saw the ratings, maybe uh, they gave it a 70, a rotten tomatoes as a 76%. Uh, okay. So a little bit higher than me. Um, but and a 6.7, uh, with an average. Okay. Rating, so I mean, 7. you know, it had all the moments it, like it, I'm like, this should work. I kept saying that to myself the whole time I'm watching it. Like, this should be working. And I, I don't know what it was, guys. I can't put my, my finger on it. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what it is for me. For me, I mean, like seeing this as 38-year-old, um, 
So it was, it was fun to see just, you know, the fighting between them, to have the action between it. The, they did the old Jaws routine where they don't quite show no, it right yeah. away. They don't, like, they kept showing the background footage of, you know, of them fighting in Hawaii and stuff like that. But, like, to me, that kind of took away because you always... What are you watching every action movie? Is they usually have a fight at the beginning. Our hero gets, you know, usually his comeuppance, and so you're waiting for the end for the hero to, you know, make his comeback. Well, we didn't even get to really see that yeah. here. We saw him just, they kind of went at each other a little bit in background, and that was it. I mean, they had a great cast, though, but I got what really hurt me the most was that Brian Cranston, who I would have wanted to see this movie for. Yeah. This is like right after Breaking Bad. Yep. I want to see him. I want to see how good he's going to be. <laughs> 40 minutes in. And then, he, and then he's gone. He's taken from us. I thought he was going to be maybe not the big, big hero his son was going to be, but he was going to be a part of it, helping him all the way through. He could have been on the ship the whole time. Something. Anything. Um, but, the, I mean... Everybody else did a really good job, though, because, like, you know, having those scenes on the bridge, whereas, like, it, they're smashing through it, and then at the end, they're like, well, is that a, our savior? You know, which, it could be, yeah. it kind of remind me a little bit of uh, Alien vs. Predator, where they start shooting at the Predator, even though he's the one helping out <laughs> to take out the alien. Easy on the spoilers. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, for me, I'm giving it a three answers yeah. out of five. I mean, if there was a record for a movie that had, like, the most, uh, um, uh, the most actors who were kind of, like, not main actors, but, like, kind of bit players boy they had a ton of them in here i, I do have to say one thing the directing was pretty mm -hmm. the camera work cinematography yeah yeah pretty pretty incredible cast i mean you know some some definite heavy hitters um with this particular lineup if i recall correctly and just kind of reading um answer had scrolled down a little bit and there was a couple of things you know and referencing the 1998 one and i do recall that that one bombed pretty bad mm -hmm. yeah um, uh, from what I saw here. So, I mean, at least this was a, a fun, you know, it was a fun remake. I mean, um, you get to see, I, it's an interesting thing when, as CGI technology advances, you can take old stories mm -hmm. and not necessarily have to do a whole lot with them other than like give people a better visual. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, cool. Like, yep. You could tell me the exact same story from, you know, 19, you know, 38, 1940, whatever the original one was. Um, and, and just, and just like redo that story, but just with modern CGI and you might be like, okay, this is, yeah. you know, this is all right. Just being able to take a creature like Godzilla and bring it to life on, uh, you know, on the big screen. So I thought that was neat. Um, I'm with you guys. Like when you have somebody as, you know, as, as big of an actor as Brian Cranston coming off of. I mean, just the incredibly successful Breaking Bad. I think a lot of people would have been drawn to go to the theater just for him. Um, this is when, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Aaron Taylor Johnson hadn't done a ton at this point. Uh, at this point, he uh, had just been doing um, Kick-Ass. Yeah. It would have been the big time yeah, so that he, he had, had done. So he hadn't done a... And Quicksilver, I guess, and Marvel. Yeah, so he hadn't done a ton as of yet. Um, so, um, you know, it's cool seeing him when he's younger. I think he did a, a great job. Oh, yeah. Um, they didn't really develop his character that much. I mean, they showed us that he was uh, brave, yep. um, obviously, and, you know, he was of strong moral fiber with his uh, with his act with the uh, the young boy on the on the tram and stuff like that. I wanted to so, forget his past. Yeah. That's about as much as they went into deep yeah so i mean you know it, it had a little bit of everything i yeah. think i think this would have been one that probably I, this felt like a theater movie to me you know yeah. like this feels like something that you have to watch with an insane surround sound system we've all got pretty good studio headphones here but i feel like if your seat was shaken from the subwoofers and it's on the massive screen in front of you <laughs> and the blue light from that I think that would have really enhanced, um, you know, enhanced this experience. And, and we don't talk about it a whole lot, but it's, it's no secret that some movies are definitely better seen in the theater. You get some movies, 
you know, rom-coms and dramas and things like that, where it's not, I, I think, as important uh, to see in the theaters in, in the regard to you don't lose that much of that, like, cinematic yeah, the, wow the event, the feeling. Effect. Yeah. Um, but this is one I would have liked to have seen in the theaters. I, you know, I didn't I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was bad. Uh, I thought it was entertaining enough for, you know, like a, a decent-ish score. I've been going really high lately. Minus the yeah. Avatar: The Last Airbender live action, <laughs> which whatever. Yeah, but sorry. you know, this it was it was entertaining to yeah. me. I, I I'm not going to go much higher than a three, but uh, uh, three three out of five yeah. answers for me for Godzilla. Now, uh, one of the questions that I wanted to bounce off you guys for a movie titled Godzilla, it didn't feel like we got that much Godzilla. Am I am I wrong in that? Like no, feeling I, like hey. Could we have gotten a little bit more Godzilla? Yeah, and I think answer you kind of touched on it with the Jaws. That, that's what it is. You don't want even the movie Jaws. You only see him for like a total yeah. of like twelve minutes. But, but my because they always they love to think that less is more. Yeah. You know, and, and I like the analogy with Jaws, but I think Jaws. I think you know part of part of with Jaws was. I mean, the technology, right? Well, no, no, not the technology, but I think part of the magic of Jaws was you didn't know where he was, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's underwater. Water. Water. Yeah. He's yeah. underwater, okay. The, the tail. But no, I mean, yeah. but just the suspense of, yeah. is he here? Is he there? Oh, he's coming up. Like, that's, it, yeah. it almost made you more afraid, like, oh, shit, where yeah. is he? You here, know? they well, just kind of took the camera off. Yeah. And it's Godzilla. like, for Godzilla, it's like, <laughs> we knew pretty early on that here he was, and they spent a lot of time showing his, you know, his spikes. So, you know, for me, like, too much time swimming like yeah. much, see that was yeah, a, that much, was a thing like i said the hawaii fight that could have been instrumental big uh, time it, yeah and it, along with that um look i understand we have a giant uh dinosaur lizard hybrid and a couple of giant moth hybrids but the fights felt really slow yeah like slow really motion slow yeah. like everything felt like like with with i a think moth, it's because of how big they are yeah, yeah with a moth you'd expect it to be you like fast wings like, and like stuff fast yeah. i don't i don't and know again it's, i wonder if that's an homage to the earlier to the earlier films you know i i just feel like they tried to do a bit of a balancing act with this movie and you know try to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that little and it's like it didn't it's almost like it didn't know what it was you know, and, and like what it wanted to be. Well, well, we could have doubled up the speed while Godzilla was yeah. on screen and made it go faster. Yeah, you know, I, I just feel like it's just like a whap around well, at some yeah. point. Like the moth, everything happens so slow. I guess, and I, I, I think Cancer brings up a really good point. I think when you have something of that size, I think having it move too fast, but it's well, like they do that with something. they do that with Ant Man, you, know, you know, in Marvel as well. Yeah, it feels he like moves he real moves slow. slower, but all but things, when he's tiny, he's all fast. things yeah. being equal and i think visually it, it has to be that way but all things being equal it's like you take the exact same physical structure it should be able to just move you know move yeah. the same but eh, it is what it is um well uh brontosaurus how fast did they move and look how big they were to, and then to no like, i just mean to I like just, say uh uh velociraptor this, is, this i i guess my you know you 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 bring up and again you bring up a very good point so answers bringing up the size i'm comparing it to like Let's I, say I, a I, small moth and then a big moth. Well, everything should be scaled, you know, proportionate, <laughs> scaled. Yeah. But um, but I definitely see what you're saying. I'm not real, real, real up on the Godzilla story, but uh, I felt like we definitely got a Mothra Easter yeah. egg in there with, with the, in, the, in the aquarium. Yeah. In the aquarium. Did yeah. you guys catch any oh, other uh, Easter eggs? Oh, other any other Mothra? ones? No, I didn't. Yeah, my, I know, you know, so other little about. Other than the shout out to Toothless. Yeah, I know so little about the Godzilla <laughs> world uh, other than the Mothra. And, of course, we got the big uh, blue flame or whatever that Godzilla is kind of known for. Uh, at least we've seen in commercials and stuff. So, oh, yeah. yeah no, beyond the old that. Ones I, that yeah, the old. Yeah, I guess I don't know movies. enough. I mean, for a movie, for a movie that was 10 years old and I, I had brought it up we're almost 10 years old it felt like the special effects were pretty good yeah, guys, godzilla looked bad yes yeah. 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 it was pretty up to snuff with that yeah. yeah you know i i like i guess i gotta say i liked what they did with godzilla um the moth the, i don't know what they were like they because uh, well moth well, what, well yeah what, they, what were I'm they calling them mantras uh, mantras a muta or something a mu oh, muta, muta, yeah you know yeah. the um so maybe it's a different monster altogether that we just don't know about right and yeah. they, di they didn't look um, you know, and obviously got massive looks. unidentified terrestrial organism. Oh, yeah, they're not okay. terrestrial anymore because yeah. at least one of them was flying. Yeah. They looked I, those 
I didn't love the the CGI on the Mutas as much as I did um, as much Godzilla. as I did Godzilla. Yeah. They felt they, they felt kind of bug like in that like almost like the praying mantis arms yeah. and stuff. But mm -hmm. the heads looked it a seemed little, a bit mechanical the, almost. Yeah. Right. The, the, heads, almost yeah. the heads felt like they were almost like robotic or mechanical yeah. to me in the way is the, the way the hard well because well then i'm wondering if this is a whole new creature which you know let us know if this is any part of godzilla lore because then they had something to base godzilla's movements on from what he's always done in this they didn't they want to go with a whole new whole new organism i guess and try and see what yeah. they could do with that yeah but over overall i felt like the special effects were pretty good it's so you know it's so crazy we watch so many movies and it's like sometimes you go back to like you know, it's 2014, and you feel like, oh, it's lost well, 10 years ago. We'll we'll give it a pass. But then, you know, you remember being in the theaters in like 2005, like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah. These special effects are insane. Mm -hmm. And it's it's interesting looking back. And now you wonder, like, okay, with with today's technology, if they were making another one, you know, how further ahead would we be with? Um, you know with the technology you know answer brought up a few times i'm not sure if it's going to make the cut but answer brought up a few times jurassic park and i'll tell you what yeah. you go back to that up. original jurassic park from 1994 those effects they still hold, hold they up they do i mean yeah. but a lot of it wasn't even cgi it was, it was practical all, it was mm -hmm. electronic yeah. stuff and it's yeah. it's amazing how well some of that stuff uh mm -hmm. some of that stuff holds up but um, this was a fun one, guys. Do we we have a we have a couple more monster movies? I think up, we got. We do. I mean, it, they did end up, you know, coming up with a couple of uh, couple of surprises with, with, for you. With coming a, down another the one. Pipe. So, yep. Oh, what is this? This is definitely. What did they come up? That. Yeah, Lancer. Let's take there's, a look. What are the films? What did they come up with? After? So there's that, and so now they have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, that we will. Be wow, the, so roll 2019. So Roland Emmerich directed this one. Answer. Can you move your screen? Sorry. Real? Oh no, that was 98. Sorry. Uh, normally Roland Emmerich's kind yep. of known for really good uh, stuff. Gareth but Edwards, and he was very praised for this. Is what I saw. Surprised there. to see that he did the and one then, that uh, was called a bomb. Yeah, <laughs> Mutas, male and female. Okay. Yeah. All okay. right. So there's a there's a few come, more that come. came out. Um, definitely, you know, definitely interesting. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> like I, I I I gotta be I gotta be honest, guys, and we'll we'll wrap this up here. This movie. It didn't really leave me like super hungry. For yeah, more. Like more. Oh, I gotta, and I gotta see that. Yeah. And well, like we saw, I it was like, oh, the is there gonna one. be? Is there a post credit scene? No, no, I didn't need one. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I kind of feel like, and um, I don't consume uh, that much alcohol once in a while. I enjoy having a margarita. I do fruity drinks. Don't judge my life. Uh, you know, I, I like tequila too, though. So sometimes it doesn't have to be in a margarita. But anyhow, where I'm going with this is I really feel like these movies are the kind of movies where you hang out with the, you hang out with the boys guys for just, about two uh, hours before yeah. you go to the theater. And then you're yeah, just, just To me, just, it's it's like the, no, let's fast forward to the good parts with the fights. <laughs> there we go, yeah. I feel like yeah. this, would, this would be a fun well, one. That's, to, that's what we used to do with the Eric Bana version of Hulk. <laughs> it's like let's just see the Hulk parts. Yeah, so there that we go. That was uh, one of the monster mayhem's that we're doing with Godzilla. So stay tuned for more. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs>